At least 10 Pakistani troops are dead after a NATO helicopter opened fire on a post just inside the Pakistani border. We have two of our correspondents covering this story. Nick Payton Walsh is at CNN Kabul and Reza Saya is at CNN Islamabad. Nick, let's start with you. Earlier today, or earlier, we know that NATO wasn't saying much at all. Any more word from NATO at all? No, that remains the case. NATO are simply saying they are aware of an incident and they are looking into it. No more information from them at this point. Advising caution, as you know, this is an extremely uh, complex part of the world, uh, very volatile border itself not particularly well defined where incidents like this do occur and it often takes sometimes days, certainly hours, for the precise details of what happened to come through. Tyler? We're just really hearing from Pakistan so far, Nick, so any word when NATO might start to release some information to you or to us so we can pass it on to folks? Uh, no, they haven't given a precise time. They are saying hopefully soon they can explain what, in their opinion, happened here. I should point out this is obviously a delicate issue because the head of the NATO campaign here, General John Allen, was only recently yesterday in Rawalpindi talking to the head of the Pakistani military about border cooperation because this issue is so central to the NATO campaign here, about stopping insurgents who the U.S. say get safe haven inside Pakistan, having sanctuary there and crossing back into the border to attack Afghan and American forces. Tyler? Okay, Nick, we want to turn to Reza Saya in Islamabad now. Reza, what do you know about things going on in Pakistan? Because we're hearing things, terms like unprecedented attacks. Well, it's not exactly unprecedented. There have been NATO attacks uh, on Pakistani soil before that have killed Pakistani soldiers. It has really heightened tensions here in the past, and this looks to be another uh, one of those incidents. Let's get you up to date on the information that we have confirmed at least 10 Pakistani soldiers killed, according to Pakistani military officials, in what they're calling the NATO helicopter attack on Pakistani soil, targeting a Pakistani military checkpost. Not clear how many NATO helicopters were involved, but this attack taking place in Moment Agency. This is one of the seven districts in Pakistan's tribal region that sits right next to Afghanistan. There's a lot of militant activity in this region. Uh, NATO and ISAP officials have long said one of their biggest problems is Pakistani militants on Pakistani soil using safe havens and launching cross-border attacks targeting U.S. and international forces in Afghanistan. One way NATO has tried to fight that is by targeting this border area. This could have been one of those operations. But again, Pakistani military officials said this, these helicopters crossed over into Pakistani soil, targeted this check post, and again, at least 10 Pakistani soldiers have been killed. Now, this is a region that's very difficult to access by journalists. All we usually have to go by is official statements. We have received statements from Pakistani military officials, as you mentioned before, still waiting to, say, to see what NATO officials and ISAF officials have to say about this uh, incident. But again, if this information is verified, if this attack is verified, it, it's certainly going to heighten tensions between uh, two countries, the U.S. and Pakistan, uh, that already have volatile, very rocky relationships.